Bonus chapter alert. We're doing a bonus chapter on Indicators. Why? Well, because in all honesty, they are super fun and they are super cool. And we are doing a disservice if we do not cover them here. So we're gonna dive in and cover image anchors as a bonus. All right, so real quick, an image anchor is an anchor much like a horizontal or vertical plane inside Arrow that allows you to connect an AR experience to an image. And that AR scene sticks or anchors to that image. It's super fun and awesome because it automatically makes that arrow scene much more interactive. Uh, because as you twist and turn that image, uh, the AR scene is also twisting and turning as well because it is actually stuck to the image. So as you turn it, it moves. All right, so yeah, it's really awesome stuff. So uh, luckily we don't have to totally start over, so let's just dive in and, and get going. Okay, so first off, uh, I would recommend copying one year previous scene. So let's say this is the last one I did. So let's, let's actually copy share uh, our sharing scene. So what you're going to do inside arrow, you're, you're going to click these three little buttons here and you're going to say duplicate. And this will make a copy of the card. And this is it here. So if we have, it says copy down here below. And then I, just cause I like to keep things clean, I am going to rename it. So let's go to rename and let's call this, uh, we'll just call it image anchor. Or you can call it whatever you want, but I'm gonna call it image anchor. Okay. And then we'll load that scene. Click on it and let's load the scene. All right, so this is our scene. This should look pretty familiar. Uh, I always like to do just a quick recap. So there's our whole entire scene. Looks good, looks fun, looks awesome. Um, have an earthy day. So let's come back out here. So just something that you're gonna have to know uh, about image anchors. You're gonna wanna click this top part here. And then once you click up here, with uh, you're gonna have three types of anchors. So you have the horizontal, which is what we have here, it's on the ground. Vertical, which will stick it to a wall. Uh, and then you're gonna have image. Now this is the one we wanna use here, image. But I'm thinking ahead, right? And if you watch the video, I'm gonna stick it to this image here. And this is just, I just printed out the arrow logo. Um, and then what I was thinking is it's a card. So people are gonna hold it like this, right? They're not gonna hold it like this. So I'm gonna actually use I'm gonna click on the vertical surface and then I'm gonna click on image anchor because this will create a vertical surface first and then put the image anchor on that surface. So now that I have vertical surface selected, I'm gonna hit image. And now I've actually scanned this, uh, or I, I just downloaded Arrow, uh, the Arrow logo from the internet. Uh, you can do the same, or you can put your own image in here, whatever you wanna do. All right, so let me find this. All right, so I pulled in a PNG sequence or PNG of the arrow logo, not a sequence, just a PNG. Uh, and it's right there. So you can see it, there it is in all its glory. Let's grab the box, zoom on in. Uh, you can see it underneath there. So the first thing we have to realize is now that we made this a vertical surface and we did it, we attached it to an image, is how big this whole experience is, right? This experience was not made uh, to be held in your hand at first because I was gonna put it on a desk, but I changed my mind and now I'm gonna put it onto a card for the bonus chapter. Um, so what we need to do is we need to scale this whole experience. So this is a little trick to scale the whole experience. You want to grab everything uh, and then you want to click this button here. This will group it. And I guarantee you, you'll click duplicate at least once. I still do it and I've been using it for quite a while. But click the group button and it's going to make a group. You can name the group you like, but I'm not going to name the group right now. Uh, and so now the whole experience is tied up in this group. What this allows me to do is it allows me to scale this. So I am going to scale it down to 0.05. 0.05 and this will scale everything down to a more manageable size, right? So if you look at this image marker here, um, we can look at the size and it is five centimeters by six roughly or six by six. Um, and so that is, I'm not 100% sure, but it's like two and a half ish centimeters. Um, I actually didn't work that one out. But uh, this makes it a little more manageable because again, I'm gonna put it onto this card here uh, and this is the same distance. So it should fill this whole kind of card. All right, so now I have that, everything scaled down. I'm gonna need to pull this out so it's not flattened to the wall. Uh, and there we go. We, you saw that blue mark, that was pulling it out. So now uh, it won't, nothing will penetrate that wall. And why wasn't it in the box? It, we actually have a sun that's a little bit behind the main box when it disappears. Um, and now I also wanna kind of center it just a little bit, get it kind of like covering that square. Let's pull it down a little bit. And I apologize about the, um, 
our access points right now. We are currently working on fixing that, but for now, you know, this is beta. We deal with some stuff. It's still gonna be really cool though, you just watch. All right, so now we have that lined up. So let's, let's do a little preview, let's check it out. So we have our box, right? And it's now it's vertical, the shadows are getting worked on too. Uh, once I click on it, it pops up. So everything is actually working pretty good. The only thing you have to know is that these clouds, they kind of scaled funny, so they are bumping into each other. So I have to clean that up. And the actual trigger on the on these animals got a little uh, squampus, but it's fine as well. So let's come out here, let's fix the clouds because those are one that you really notice. So come in here uh, and let's, I'm gonna hide the solid cube uh, and I'm gonna go to the clouds. Where are your clouds? Here we go, cloud one. And let's just show cloud, let's show cloud. Um, so I'm gonna start by just making these a little smaller. So I'm gonna go 0.05 because I just don't think they scaled correctly. Uh, and let's grab another cloud and just go, instead of uh, 0.08, we're gonna go 0.05. Everything's a lot smaller. And let's just see if that just fixed it right the gate. I'm just wanna see, I just don't want them to crash into each other. Ooh, like that, I don't want that to happen. Um, so and then I'm actually gonna grab the clouds. And I'm gonna pull it back. I'll grab this cloud and I'll pull it back. And then I'll fix the move as well. Move anchor, oh, stuck underneath here. Let's slide that out. Uh, and I'm gonna make this negative three for this guy. There he goes. Let's go to cloud two and I'll say move. And I'm gonna make this three. Ease in, ease out. All right, so let's preview this now. Okay, it's close enough. All right, it's close enough for what we wanna do. You can monkey with it and play with it some more if you like, but uh, I'm okay with that. So now, this is uh, ready to go. So we're going to go to our phone and just make some fine adjustments. Uh, again, don't forget to hide the, these uh, things here. And then when I go to, I need to show the solid cube. So now let's go to our phone and we're going to load the phone and we're going to make some fine adjustments. Uh, and we'll stick it to this card. So real quick, we'll be right back. Okay, so now we are in the mobile app. For arrow and we are going to make some tweaks and we're going to see this thing stick to the card so um right now i open the scene and it's asking for my my image so let me get this image here and i'm going to actually pull it in the screen and boom it's already it's stuck so that i'm in edit mode right now and the the scene is stuck to the image and already it is way more interactive right super fun stuff so let's go to preview mode and actually see the whole experience so now it's saying tap on the box, I tap on it, and it's our it's our AR card, right? We see the whole thing. We have the clouds, we have the sun, we have the, the bear, the deer. Um, I tap on the sun, it spins, you know, it makes the same squeaking noise. Um, and we have the bear here, and we have the deer all right there. And uh, let me put it down so I can have two hands. So now you can actually do some edits and some fine tweaks on, on in the mobile app, uh, and it will update the desktop as well. So you can go back and forth, it's a whole, the whole thing it's great to use these at the same time so i'm going to make the bear a little bigger so let me set the bear and i'm going to scale and let me scale this bear let me go to 11 because 10 is not enough uh, and now let's check it out so i tap on the scene and there's the bear uh, so i did not have uniform scale on so i scaled him in one direction which is the y so he's a little flat um, but you can see that he has uh, been scaled um, and so you could do this too. You can actually make that platform a little bigger on the bottom uh, and uh, just whatever you need to do. So it looks right and it's perfect. So when you send this out to your, to whoever, it's just like how you need it to work. All right, cool stuff. <laughs>